Hi everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House. Today we're doing a Miraculous Ladybug DIY project. We will be making the Rabbit Miraculous as a squishy. Have you seen the Ladybug Miraculous squishy that I made? If you haven't, make sure to check it out after this video. The Rabbit Miraculous is held by Alex and with the help of Fluff, she transforms into Bunnix, a time-hopping superhero. So here is today's trivia question. What is the name of the villain that Alex turns into when she's akumatized? Comment below if you know the answer and stay to the end of the video to see if you're right. Okay, let's get started. Here are the supplies that you will need. First, you're going to need a sponge. Today, I'll be using a sponge from an old memory foam pillow. You can use sponges from the craft store or another type I like are sponges used to wash cars. You're also going to need some fabric paint. These paints are stretchier when dried and are less likely to crack or rip. I have some tulip branded ones here in white, light blue, and black. And of course, you're going to need some scissors to trim the sponge. So the Rapid Miraculous is a pocket watch. We're going to draw an outline first before we cut it out. I'm going to use a lid that is the size I want and trace around it with a pen. To get the right shape, I have a little lid here and what we're going to do is just trace around it. And then up here, we're going to draw a little knob. It's a diamond shaped knob. Now with scissors, we're going to cut it out. It's important to cut a little bit at a time since it's easy to cut more, but you won't be able to put back what you've trimmed off. And here is our squishy so far. I made it a little thicker so that it'll be fun to squeeze. Using our light blue fabric paint, we're going to slather it on, covering the entire sponge, and then I'm going to use a paintbrush to spread it out so that we can cover all the holes in the sponge. Then we're going to let it dry and add a few more layers. My goal is to get all these tiny sponge holes filled with paint. And here it is so far! Let's add the details. Using a printout as a template, we're going to paint the watch face white. We want this as smooth as possible since we still need to add the clock hands. While that dries, let's go ahead and paint the knob on top of the watch black. Next, taking black, we'll trace the watch face. Then add five large black circles. In the middle, we'll add one final black circle. Once the circles are dried, we'll add the watch hands. Our hand, minute hand, the second hand. I think the Rabbit Miraculous does not have any designs on the pack. However, I thought that was a little bit boring. So for this one, we're going to add a design. Once again, we're going to use a printout for a template and we're going to first draw a white border. Then on the inside, we will add a black border. And 
finally, add some blue dots. On the side here, we'll add a stripe of black. And here is the answer to today's trivia question. What is the name of the villain that Alex turns into when she's akumatized? Alex transforms into the timebreaker. Did you get it right? If you did, comment below, I got it! Alright everyone, and we are done! Take a look at our squishy! Oh my goodness! This is our very own Rabbit Miraculous! And this is so much fun, you guys! So here on the front, of course, we have the clock face with the little dials here. And on the back, we added a little design just so that it's not so plain. We also made the squishy a little bit thicker so that we have lots to squeeze. So here we go, look at this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This project was actually very easy to do, however, it did take a long time just because we needed the paint to dry before we added a new layer. But I think it turned out really great. This is really, really awesome. I love like there's this little piece up here that you can squeeze too. Just like that. And there's this big squishy part down here. So let me know down below in the comment section what you think of my miraculous. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!